A couple of days ago, I received this gorgeous brass Apollo fountain pen kit from Kate over at uh, Bullseye Turning Supply, and I needed to find the perfect blank to mate it to. Well, there's this very small YouTube channel, little known fella, who makes these chaos blanks, and I thought, you know, maybe I'll give this guy a shout out and I'll turn this fountain pen kit using one of his blanks. For the Apollo, we need a blank that is a tiny bit longer than six inches because the cap will be 2.5 inches and the body will be 3.5 inches. So I've got my ruler here. You can see I'm well past six inches. We're gonna measure off two and a half inches and then the remainder of the blank, which is about a half inch longer than we need, uh, we'll just leave it long. We'll make a long bodied pin. So let me go ahead and complete that mark all the way across the blank. And now we're ready to cut our blank into independent halves. Let's get our blanks marked for drilling. This being a rectangular blank, it's uh, 5 eighths by 3 quarter. We're not going to have a perfect center mark, but by marking all four corners, you'll see that uh, we can find the center very easily. Let's mark it with our punch. We have our chaos body blank chucked up and we have a quarter inch bit in our drill press. We need to drill 2.8 inches into this body blank. There is a mark on the bit. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but it is. I used calipers and put it at exactly 2.8 inches so that I can achieve the proper depth in the blank. I'm gonna chase the quarter inch hole with a 5 16 inch bit, and we're gonna drill 1.825 inches into the body. The final hole in our chaos blank needs to be one inch deep and we're gonna drill that with a 23 64 inch bit. I wanna get all of the dust out of the blank. And I've got a section and converter here so we can test fit, make sure everything's gonna fit nicely, and it does. Let's take a close up look at that. Beautiful fit. For our cap blank, we're going to drill a 3 8 inch hole 1.96 inches into the blank. The final hole we need to drill into our cap blank is 29 64 inch in diameter, and we need to go 1.25 inches into the blank. The other thing we need to make very sure of is that we center this bit as best as possible over the 3 8 inch hole. If we don't, the holes will be offset and the insert won't want to fit properly into the cap. Let's test our insert. Notice my insert is kind of fighting me a little bit on going into the blank. It's kind of dark over here, so it's hard to see, but I bet if I go to a, a light where I can see better, I did not perfectly center my outside hole. Um, I know this because I've done it in the past a couple of times. What I'm gonna do is go up to the next size bit, which will be a 25, 64 inch bit, and I'll re-drill the 3 8 inch hole. It'll widen it a little bit, but I can fill that with epoxy, and I should be able to uh, get my insert glued into my cap without any issue. I took a look at the inside of this blank under a light and I actually did center my bit perfectly as far as I can tell. If I take a look at the cap insert, I'm getting 0.376 of an inch in diameter. And if I grab a 3 8 inch bit, I'm getting 0.3725 of an inch. So I think I may need to go ahead and drill a larger starting hole in the blanks so that I can fit this properly. I'm gonna find a bit that is equivalent to 3.75. I found that this 25 64 inch bit is actually 3.87. It's the closest thing I have, so we're gonna go ahead and re-drill the 3 8 inch hole to 25 64 of an inch. 
Now we have a much better fit. I didn't push this all the way in because it will fit tightly. Uh, I want to be able to pull it back out without damaging it uh, so that I can fill, uh, so that I can put uh, quite a bit of epoxy inside the blank and on the insert and lock it into place. Have my epoxy nice and mixed up. I'm going to start with the body blank and we're going to put some epoxy inside of the blank and get it all over the walls in there. Okay, make sure we have none on our fingers. We'll slide the component in. There we go, seated against the blank. Make sure it's good and tight. Now we'll do the same with our cap blank, except we want to make sure we get, well, we want to make sure we get a whole lot of epoxy in here. And I'm trying real hard not to get it on the face. I've done a fair job but, uh, you know, you do your best to keep it all off the face because you don't want to glue your two halves together. And what I'm going to do is put them together. And then we're going to press them. Ooh, tight fit. There we go. We got a nice tight fit. I'm going to back off the pin. I'm going to test fit. That's going to be perfect. Back it off one more time. And I'm going to set these components aside to dry. I've got the cap of my Chaos Apollo fountain pen kit chucked up. Uh, I am a little nervous about turning this one uh, because I drilled so close to the edge. Uh, I'm just nervous that uh, I may have issues with it. I can't tell you at this point. We're just going to have to begin turning and see what happens. It turned down nicely. I am just shy of the bushing. There's a little bit of a fingernail there, but I want that because uh, you know I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get aggressive with sanding, but in case I do over sand, what I want to do now is we need to shorten this cap. We've got a dimple in the end. We'll probably knock off about a quarter of an inch of the cap, and then we'll shape the end of the blank, and uh, we'll begin sanding. This is gonna look really nice. I think I'm going to leave the little tenon so that I can continue to use the tailstock to uh, hold the blank true while I sand. I'll just kind of round over the end of this. Then I'll come back, take the tenon off, and uh, finish shaping the cap into the blank. I kind of want to take the cap almost out, not really to a point, but uh, I want to taper it pretty hard at the end. Sanding's gone really well. I couldn't be happier. I'm going to go ahead and get this tenon off of the end of here, um, and we're going to finish rounding over the end of this blank. I really like how this turned out. I've got kind of a bullet point here at the end. Uh, I'm going to get some wax on my bushing. Uh, then we're going to clean this blank with some denatured alcohol, and uh, we're going to put a CA finish on it. I just finished applying five coats of thin, followed by five coats of medium CA to this cap blank. I could not be happier with how it turned out. It is amazing. I'm going to put some wax on it. It's been micro-meshed. I'm going to put some Renaissance wax on it, take it to the buffing wheel, and it's ready to install uh, on the body of our pen. The cap blank turned very well. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we have similar luck with the body blank. There is definitely more meat as I was better at centering uh, before drilling this blank. So keep your fingers crossed. I think... Uh, I think we're going to have an awesome pin when we're finished. I just finished sanding. I'm super happy. Uh, you can see I've tapered it down quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this uh, little tenon off the back of it until I get rid of the, the dimple. 
Once the dimple is gone, then we'll come back and sand to clean that up. And I would like this end to be a little more pointy than uh, the cap. Obviously, the cap rounds over. This is going to have more of, more of a point on it. Well, plans definitely change, and you can see I ended up taking that a little more out to a point. Um, I started rounding it, and um, it just didn't look right, so I went ahead and, and made the point, and man, I couldn't be happier. Uh, I'm going to get it off of the mandrel. We're going to get the mandrel uh, wiped down with some uh, crystal clear paste wax uh, so that we can protect it from the CA, and then uh, we're going to put a finish on this, clean it up and put a finish. This will give you kind of a rough idea of what it's going to look like. It's going to be awesome. I could not be happier. First coat of Thin CA going on. I start about half an inch down the blank and then I wipe back. And the idea behind that is I want to keep it from the uh, the lip because I don't want to roll that CA over. If, if I was using uh, nonstick bushings, I wouldn't worry because I could clean it off. But since this is closed end, I don't have a way to get it on my uh, sanding uh, disc to be able to clean that surface. So I've got to be really careful. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the CA on. I'll come back and show it to you when it's finished. The CA finish is on the blank. I just finished micro meshing it. I'm real happy. I'm going to put a little Renaissance wax on here and hit the buffing wheels with this piece and uh, we'll be ready to assemble our pin. This is my new Apollo fountain pen dressed out in a chaos blank. I'm very happy with how this pen turned out. Being that it's triple start now, there we go. Gonna line it right up. And I couldn't be happier with how the pen turned out. I'd really like to thank you for joining me in the shop today for the turning of this Apollo fountain pen kit. Special thanks goes out to Kate from Bullseye Turning. Thank you for sending me the kit, Kate, it's gorgeous. I used one of my chaos blanks to dress it and uh, I'm kind of happy with it. You know, it's, it's uh, a really cool looking fountain pen and nobody else will have one that looks like this. I can guarantee it. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.